Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good night, Miss. Good evening. How are you today? Good. Como esta? Good. Getting better, getting better. Getting better. Excellent, Anna. I'm glad to hear that. Getting better. That's the best. That's the best. Now we're going to enjoy your meal, Daniela. <laughs> enjoy your meal. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, ya me dio hambre, mire, ya había comido. Now, we are going to. Give me a moment. Give me a Now, we're going to start here with our class. We're gonna do the attendance first, right? Let me check. We are Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Here I am. Excellent, Brenda Yamile de Estrada Torre. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Daniela Maria Ramos Ramos. Present. Excellent. Edwin Leonel Ordoñez Velasquez. Present. Thank you. Fatima Joana Tejada Candelario. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Eh, Jaira Dones Martir Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristela Eusera García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Katia Carolina. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Ok. Eh, Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Santos Alberto Chicas Juárez. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Teresa de Jesús. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Teresa. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Okay. Now, we're going to start with our class right here for today. And well, yesterday we were using uh, imperatives, right? Today our class is how to use, have to, how to use need to, okay? That's what we're going to do today. Today is class number eight. How to use have to, how to use need to, right? But before we do so, I would like to do a small exercise. Nos queda un poquito de práctica pendiente de ayer. Right, we did some exercises there, but we're going to do right now an exercise in which you will need to find five errors, right? We have five different errors in this example here. We have here, right, it says how to be a good employee. Como ser un buen empleado, miren que bonito, esto, advice. Recuérdense que una de las funciones de las, los imperativos es darnos consejos, right? To give advice. So we have how to be a good employee. Be on time. Doesn't be late. Mm, doesn't is not correct. So we use don't be late, right? 
Now, individually, como ayer trabajamos individual, se ve bien bonito, vamos a encontrar de forma individual right, los cinco errores que hay en este banner, flyer, poster, whatever you want to call it. Right? So, se lo voy a poner un poquito más grande para que le tomen captura más bonito. Right? And tell me, please, what are the mistakes? What are the errors? Right? Errors or mistakes. Mm -hmm. Let's Tell me when you finish. Only number two, I don't understand. Be friendly. Friendly is to make friends. Right? A person that likes to make friends. Polite means cortes. Right? Yes. That I don't understand the... the Errors or errors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember, Anna, that there should be, when we say, for example, and we're using imperatives, should I should I use the subject? In the imperatives? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. I do. Teacher, yes. What's the meaning of co-workers? Co-worker, for example, uh, the other English teachers, uh, you know, in English cooperative, they are my co-workers. Katia is a desk co-worker, right, Katia? The co-worker is a person who works with you. It can be your boss, it can be the assistant, it can be the janitor, anybody. Cualquiera que trabaje con usted en la misma empresa es un eh, co-worker. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Did you finish? Almost? The class is easy. Very good. I guess it's yes, Brenda too, Marina too. Very good girls, that's great. Ready to check the answers? Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches, guys. Hi, good evening. Welcome to the class, Gerardo. Perdón por entrar tarde. Estaba haciendo unas cosas. <laughs> Don't worry. We're just starting with this exercise. We are checking the errors on the exercise. Okay? Look at number one. It says, be on time doesn't be late so that's incorrect right we need to say don't be late so we need to check on the on all of the sentences Okay, let's check the answers. Vamos. Right? We're going to check number two. Right? It says, be friendly and polite to customers. You say thank you. Uh, Brenda, what is the mistake in that sentence? Is you say, be friendly and poli politic to customers. Say thank you. Say thank you. So I delete you. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. We only say, say, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Say with capital letter. Very good. Excellent, Brenda. Who is next, Brenda? Choose a person. Uh, Aide. Aide. Okay, very good. Aide, number three. Uh, I, I have a, a dude, but um, I think he's a uh, don't root co-worker. Don't root co-workers. Okay. Now, uh, I, did. I just have one quick question. What is the verb in that case? What is the verb? Um, root. Root. Okay. And what is the meaning of root? Uh, it's come on. Grosero, rudo. Exacto. So that, that was, that's correct. Okay. Grosero, rudo, right? So that is an adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it describes a person or it describes mm -hmm. people. So we're going to use don't. And after don't, we need a verb. Right. Mm -hmm. So which verb do you think is going to be better? Because we need a verb right here in the middle. That's where we need a better. I, I, I think I put don't be rude, but don't. I don't know if correct. Mm -hmm. No, that I is I, correct. I, I, in first time, I put don't be rude, but, but I think I have a, a, agreed that 
the word, I think, <laughs> I have a doubt. And you have a doubt, okay, don't worry. But this is correct. Don't mm -hmm. be rude to coworkers, mm -hmm. right? Okay. No seas mal portado, right? Don't be rude. No se te mm -hmm. right? Very okay. well. Now, number four. Number four. Who is next? I then came back. Usted digan. ¿Quién va? ¿Escoja a alguien? Katia Carolina. Katia Carolina. Katia Carolina Parada. Don't leave work early. Stay until five o'clock. Um, don't leave work early. Stay until five o'clock. Don't leave. Exactly. The only thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to delete this S. Right? So the correct verb is going to be leave. Don't leave work early. Stay until five o'clock. Excellent. Who is next? Uh, Katia? Mm. Brenda. Brenda. Bre no, Brenda ya pasó. Escojame a alguien más. Marina. Marina, okay. Marina, number five. I don't know, but don't use your cell phone in your meeting. Okay, do not use your cell phone in meetings. Which is the word that I need to delete? ¿Qué palabra necesito usar? You? You, exactly. I need to delete you. Very good. Do not use your cell phone in meetings. Do not use your cell phone in meetings. Excellent. What is next? Uh, Marina, who is next? Uh, one moment. One Teacher, moment. Mm -hmm. um, mm, 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 este, Daniela. 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 Last and play computer games. Uh -huh. Don't play computer games at work. Don't play it. Excellent. So we should put here, right? Don't play computer games at work. Excellent. We got there. I will have all of the answers. Do you have a question about this? Tienen preguntas acerca de esto? Teacher, for me, dif the difficult the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué parte se le hizo más difícil? What, yeah. Which is... Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three, let me check. Don't be rude. Oh, okay, yes. In that case, what we need to do is to identify what are the elements of the imperative, right? Mm -hmm. We know that the first thing is the verb. Lo primero que tenemos que tener es el verbo. Uh -huh. okay? Entonces, identificamos qué tipo de palabras encontramos en esa oración. Como no tenemos un verbo, entonces esa es la parte que nos hace falta. Okay? Okay. Sabemos que es negativo porque tenemos el auxiliar eh, do. I don't. Okay. Pero necesitamos siempre el verbo. Right? Okay. Lo que uh -huh. pasa es que como todavía estamos en principiante, Hay palabritas mm -hmm. que no las conocemos, así que no nos preocupes. Ahí solamente okay. tenemos que usar un diccionario o preguntar. Una de las tres. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sí, teacher. Welcome, Marina. Yes, Edwin. Eh, yo sé que eso ya lo he explicado, pero siempre tengo esa duda. Eh, ¿Por qué don y no dosen en one y six? Because with the imperatives, it's an instruction that someone is giving directly to you. Right. Es una, una indicación, una instrucción, una sugerencia que alguien le está dando directamente a usted o a ustedes. Sí, porque no es en tercera persona. Exactamente. Wow. Sí. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, do we have more questions about this? ¿Alguna otra pregunta acerca de este ejercicio? 
Não? Ok. So let's continue here with the next practice. Seguimos practicando. Right. Right. We have here some questions that I want you to look at. Right. But I think we're going to do these questions in a moment. We're going to do right now on page number four. Number 24, right? We have some corrections to make. Vámonos a la página 24 del libro, por favor. Page 24. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Permítame que mi computadora está medio a la gana. Ya está en modo asueto, mi. Ah, sí, se me olvidó decirles. Eh, Insafor mandó a decir hoy que mañana no hay clase. Entonces nos vemos hasta el jueves. No se vayan a conectar. Porque si no, ustedes solitos van a estar ahí. <ríe> No habían dicho nada hasta hoy en la tarde. Entonces, mañana les van a informar. En la mañana ustedes van a decir como que, ah, no conozco nada. <ríe> no, mañana no hay clase hasta el jueves. ¿Ok? Así que tenemos que estar pendientes de eso. Let me show you here page 24. Mire que sí, de verdad que está en modo vacación. Vacación de un día. Ok. Let me show you. So we are in the book, right? We are on page 24, right? We yesterday we practiced with the commands here, right? And we did some things that we think our boss would tell us to do, right? Que, que cosa nos diría nuestro, nuestro jefe hiciéramos? So right now we're going to read about Mr. Wilson, right? And we're going to correct the sentences, right? He says here, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy, right? That is the pronunciation for our paragraph. Es un parrafito que tenemos acá, okay? Now, once you have read this paragraph, cuando han leído este párrafo, tenemos acá, right, these seven sentences. He says here, his name is John Wilkins. Is this correct or incorrect? Incorrect. False. Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. What is the correct answer? His name, His name is John Wilson. His name is John Wilson. Very good. So what you're going to do is that you're going to read, van a leer, y van a identificar los errores de esas oraciones. Okay? El párrafo está perfecto. Ustedes van a Page 24. Thank you. Okay, now let's start. Individual work. Están las preguntitas para que ustedes puedan leerlo ahí. Aquí les dejo las oraciones. Seven sentences.
Israel, ya párele ahí. ¿Ah? Es para mi hijo. Ah, ok. <risa> Él está con su PC Gamer ahí y no para. Did you finish? Not yet? Okay. Let me know when you finish. Ready to ready, okay, perfect. I'm ready. Okay, thank you. Finish. Excellent. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and check the answers, right? So we have here, it says, his name is John Wilkins, right? And Karen said that his name was 
His name is what? Uh, Canon, what do you say? His name is John Wilson. John Wilson. Very well. Thank you so much, Karen. He writes reports every day. Is that correct, Anna? No, Miss. Okay, what's the answer? The answer, I, I want to watch the, the book. He always answered the phone and talk the potential employees in attend meetings. No, but number two, he writes reports every day. That's the one. No, he does not write reports. Okay, no, he does not write reports. Okay, very well. No, he does not write reports. Right, if we Richard, go to the paragraph. Una pregunta. Ahí se le podría agregar más, digamos, not write report. Y ahí se le pone, he attends meeting o he, eh, por ejemplo, he is human resource manager. No, because that one doesn't, doesn't match. Right, ¿Cuál es, uh, la que, ¿cuál es la que pega acá? Ok, hace un match con lo que estamos diciendo. Dice, he writes reports every day. Change to negative. Yeah. On. No. Teachers, eh, yeah. eh, for me is he check email for the company. Mm -hmm. Yes, every day. He, right? he check email every day. Para mí he, es poner la check. respuesta correcta. He check Email every day. Every day, exactly. He checks Eso sería lo que se le agregaría, nada más. Emails every day. Esa es la respuesta correcta. Uh -huh. He checks emails every day. Very good. He checks sí, emails sir. every day. Yes. Y yo le había puesto otra cosa. Yo había puesto he has events <laughs> no, every day. No, eso está incorrecto. Eso está incorrecto. He checks emails every day. Okay. Right. Thank you. No, you're welcome. What do we have in the next one? It says, he never answers the phone and talk to customers. What is the answer? I think he is. Okay, Daniela, and then Karen. Yes. Sorry. He always answers the phone and talk to potential employees. He always answers the phone and talk to potential employees. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, is that correct? Check your paragraph. Yes, la respuesta? Yes, right? Yes. He always answers the phone and talk to potential employees. Now let's continue with number four. What do you have in number four, Euseda? He often attends meetings in the morning. He general, general, attends meeting in the morning. He generally attends meetings in the morning. Is that correct? Está correcto eso, chicos? Miren su respuesta, miren el párrafo. He generally attend me? meetings in the morning. Permítanme. For me, it is to... Give me a moment. Repítame su respuesta. Repítame su respuesta, Aida. Uh, for me, the sentences is true. It is true. Me too. Me too. Okay. You often attend meeting in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, generally, often, mm -hmm. right? Very good. Yeah, we can say that too, right? He generally or he often attends meetings in the, in, in the morning and not so often in the afternoon, right? He says, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. He never, zero. Is that correct? 
No. Uh -huh. no. What would be the answer? No, it's for so often. He. He often. So often. He not often. In the afternoon. No entiendo yo. Me están diciendo muchas palabras. Karen. Sería, he often in the afternoon. Ajá. He often in the afternoon, ¿dónde está el verbo? ¿Dónde está el auxiliar? No. ¿Qué le falta a esa oración, Karen? He often in the afternoon. He uh, what? No, he verb. often attends attend meeting in the afternoon. He often attends meetings in, in the, the afternoon. afternoon. Okay. Ya se está la respuesta correcta aquí. ¿Qué, qué es lo que pasa? No, it, it's not correct. Ok, ¿qué tenemos que ponerle? He not often. He not often. He Seldom not podría often. ser. Ok. Si le ponemos... He doesn't. He, he doesn't often. He doesn't often. He doesn't often attend meetings in the afternoon. Doesn't. Por, porque vamos a utilizar el auxiliar de que esté en una, una eh, oración negativa. Ok. He seldom attend meetings in the afternoon. Okay. Estaría correcto también si dijéramos he seldom. ¿Por qué? Porque seldom también significa que casi nunca se muere. Ok. He seldom attends meetings in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Ok. Very good. Now, let's continue there with the next the next example okay he usually has events in his company he usually has events in his company what is the answer, Brenda? Um, it's incorrect. The, he always has events in his company. He always has events in his company. In his company. Very well. He always has events in his company. Perfect. And now the last one, Anna. What do you have, Anna? I have a cambiando entre la pantalla y el libro, permítame. Okay. Yes, he has to. He has to go to a conference. Okay. No le escucho muy bien. Creo que dijo he has to go on a conference. He has to go a conference. Okay. He has to go to a conference. On which day? On July 22nd. On July 22nd? No, 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 on July 21. And then we have, ha we will have a meeting. Yes, on July 21st. On July 21st, okay. On July 21st. He has to go to a conference on July 21st. Very good. So we have the possible answers here for our exercise. Do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? Yes, I have one. Do we have to answer exactly as the as the sentence? Ya el ejercicio ya está solo para que copie las eh, 
para que haga los cambios. Por ejemplo, la primera, his name is John Wilkins. Sabemos que no es la respuesta correcta. Y el, el párrafo ya nos dice, his name is John Wilson. Entonces, se hace con base en el párrafo. Thank you. You're welcome, Ana. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No hay pregunta. Ok, continuamos entonces. Next exercise. ¿Sí? In the last one, eh, eh, no sería, por ejemplo, he has to go. No, como ahí no dice que él va, sino que he has to attend a meeting. Uh -huh. Attend significa asistir, ir. Ok, ok. Okay. Son verbos Thank que you. son utilizados de, como sinónimos. Attend. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, we have the exercise. We completed this exercise. We're going to do next one. Next one is this, right? We're going to write a similar paragraph. Vamos a escribir un párrafo similar, okay? Similar to this. Right. With this paragraph, what we're going to do is that we're going to tell what you do in your office and we're going to use adverse of frequency. And then you will share your paragraph with the class. Right? That's what we're doing. En el ejercicio de acá del libro, nos dice que debemos crear un párrafo right? similar en, con base en lo que hacemos. But we are going to do this in pairs. Okay? Vamos a hacer en parejas. So, for example, if I work with Karen, right, we are going to decide if we're going to do the activities about Karen or about me, right? We're going to decide. Once we have decided, we're going to write our paragraph, right? So I can say, her name is Karen Cruz, right? She is an assist, an assistant, right? Or a sales agent, Karen. A sales agent, right? What do you do, Karen? <laughs> assistant. Ah, okay. She is an assistant, right? Y empieza a escribir las cosas que ella hace, right? Vamos a trabajar en parejas para que se nos haga más fácil y podamos corregirnos entre nosotros con base en las actividades y los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Sí, fácil, ¿verdad? Yes. Un párrafo parecido al de John Wilson. So let's just start. We're going to make the groups. Let's start. Let's see. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, there we are. Let's go. Let's go. Vamos, denle en clic ahí a su grupo, por favor. Vamos, vamos. Katia, ¿se puede unir a su equipo, por favor? My name, is, my name is Karen Aide, vamos a ver. Ok. <laughs> my name is Karen Aide Cruz Santos. <laughs> ok. She, she is, is rebelde. <laughs> <laughs> ah, igual a la teacher. 
<risa> Usted es el supervisor, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Él, ajá. Trabajar con gente es lo que más cuesta. <risa> ¿Tienen preguntas, chicos? No, eh, teacher. Okay. Bueno, ella sí, ella acaba de entrar, la verdad que adelante ahí. Verónica, dígame. No. No, no, solo le, le consultaba de qué de que más o menos íbamos a hacer porque como acaba de entrar. Ok, vamos a hacer ahorita un párrafo parecido al de la página 24 de John Wilson en el que ustedes van a eh, decidir si van a trabajar usted con su información o con la de Leonel escribiendo un párrafo ah. similar usando adverbios de frecuencia. Ah, ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. See you in a moment. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Entonces, con, con el suyo, Leonel. Sí, con el suyo. Okay. Aprovecho. <ríe> okay, entonces. Eh, vaya. Ajá. Hello. Oh, Espera, solo quiero ver el párrafo. Ah, sí, va. Espera, voy, voy a escribir mejor en la compu porque se me hace más fácil en la compu que en el cuaderno. La verdad que sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, yo no lo usaba por coger a gama, porque ahí me aburro en el trabajo y aquí también, así, lo mismo. ¿Pero ya está en su casa? Sí, ahorita estoy en mi casa. Ah, bueno. Sí, ya no me toca venir en el trabajo. Vaya, quiero ver. Ay, aquí. Ay, esa compu está cargando todavía, mejor escribo. Vaya, dice, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. Ok, entonces empezamos. Hello. Hello, my name is Manuel Velázquez. He, at pero, work in... Es better. Ok. His name, no, quiero Él es, él es, que él es... Mm. Leonel. ¿Leonel? ¿Qué? Velázquez. Velázquez. Mm -hmm. He work. He works. Works. He works in a ¿Sí? office. Yeah. In a. No. Office. De no. De producción. No es en Porque... oficina prácticamente, no. No. Un supervisor, nunca pasa muy diciendo, bueno, el buen supervisor. Bueno. Entonces sería, he works in a... a ¿cómo, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo sería? ¿Cómo? De producción. In a production. Sí. In a production. Production. Okay, ajá, ¿Qué hace prácticamente todos los días? Cuénteme. Vaya, lo primero que hago ajá. es ordenar las líneas de producción. ¿va? Este, va, entonces sería, uh, no, he, quiero ver, para decir, um, her, es para ella, ¿verdad? He sería, no sé, his, sí. her, his, entonces sería, he is organized, organized. él organiza, ¿eh? él organiza, línea de, de producción, line, dice. De production line, de production line. De production Line. Sí. La línea de producto, ajá. Ah, pero yeah. sería. Es, oh, sería. He's always. Eso hace siempre. Uh -huh. Entonces sería. He's always organized the production line. Correcto. Eh, de ahí sería. Eh, envía correos o. o Va, o, luego lo que hago es. O hace llamadas, reuniones. Reuniones no, no, no lo que... ¿Qué un no hace? Después de organizar la línea de producción, lo que hago es uh -huh. prácticamente revisar las órdenes de producción. Ah, entonces sería, quiero ver, review, review pero, o pero revise. Es que ahí mismo hago eso en organizar, pues, entonces. No, pero le vamos a decir que en otra. <risa> Vaya. <risa> pero entonces, sería... Lo primero que hago es revisar la orden de producción, luego ordeno producción. Así que lo dije al revés. Ah, ok. El orden de, de, de los factores no es el producto. <risa> Podría ser. Entonces sería aquí, eh, usually, voy a poner para usar otro. 
Y usually... No, porque puedes poner eh, lo que ya pusiste, va. Entonces. Y... ¿Cómo? Ah, y. Ah, ok, ¿verdad? sí, también. Entonces sería. Eh, he's always organized the production line and review. Did you finish? No, teacher. No, teacher, I don't know. Do you have questions? Yeah, okay, I have a question. Uh, the paragraph has to say uh, all the all the phrase, um, all the words about my word, yeah? The activities that you do or Marina does? Uno de los dos. Yeah, yeah but we have to say, um, the activities the another uh, another partner for example no solo va a ser un párrafo por el equipo uno por los dos ah, okay van a escoger como les dije van a escoger el de uno no el de los dos pero si okay, vamos but, a pero tenemos que hacer ambos sí cómo teacher cada uno está haciendo sí, tenemos que hacer el de ambos esa es práctica extra entonces <risa> ah okay entonces tenemos que hacer uno solo va Chévere. Sí, solo deben hacer un párrafo. Ok, ahorita entonces, vaya, vamos a hacer el suyo, este, Vanessa, ahí está. I never see. Your co-workers. My co-workers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I... As a meeting for for you. I have I have I usually I usually no I seldom well put it I seldom have meetings on Wait. Monday on Friday or Friday. ¿Cuántas líneas van? Quiero ver una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Y el... Ah, sí, yo creo que está bien. <ríe> Solo son cinco las que tenía el párrafo. Ok. Y el tuyo, si querés, lo hacemos, por si no. me preguntan de ti. <ríe> vale. Ajá. Okay. Hello, my name is Brenda Estrada. I work in, in an office. I am a supervisor for sales. Brenda Estrada, I work in an office. And? Uh, I'm a supervisor for sales. Sales? Um, ¿Cómo puedo decir, teacher? In, in two weeks. I am a manager. Yes, that's correct. En dos semanas va a ser una un supervisora. No, en dos semanas voy a ser gerente de ventas. Uf, de mi trabajo. In two I weeks, will be. I will be a manager. Sí, porque será el futuro. In two weeks, I will be a manager. Sí, pero en este caso, como es más seguro, <coughs> vamos a decir, I am going to be. I okay. am going to be. Uh -huh. In two weeks, I am going to be. A manager. manager. Déjeme que voy por Verónica ahorita. Espera un momento. Eh. A menudo así está. Hola, ¿Sí? Verónica. Hi, teacher. Una consulta. Uh -huh. eh, para decir eh, que él. ¿Cómo era Leonel? Que pocas veces así se. Lo siento. <risa> Que él pocas veces así se reuniones. Sería, se puede ocupar el often. Pocas veces no es often. Often es a menudo. Es que ah, eso perdón, a menudo. Ajá. Dice que tiene a menudo. Porque a menudo lo hago. Ajá. Entonces sería como, pero aquí no se puede ocupar he has often o he often has, has no sé. Como él a menudo tiene. 
Pero si él asiste a las reuniones, ¿cuál es el verbo que hemos utilizado para asistir? Asist, eh. Asisting. Asist, no, no sé. asisting es asistir. Mm. Eh, Refrescando la memoria, teacher. Atten. En el párrafo está. Era uno de, las, de los ejercicios que tenía. Mm, sí. Attend. Attend. He often attends meetings. Attend meetings. He often attends meetings. Meeting. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ya nos quedan un par de minutos solamente, ¿ok? Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo que, cómo que ahora son las reuniones, Leonel? Ay. Eh, prácticamente a las 5 de la tarde. Entonces, in the No. Sí, in the evening. At the evening. In the evening. Y en verdad, teacher. In ¿Cómo? The in the evening. In the evening, yes. In the evening. Dicho, entonces el, el night solo se va a ocupar prácticamente para cuando uno se va a acostar o cómo? At night, en la, por la noche. No, no, cuando uno dice good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Good night, sí. Para irse a acostar o para despedirse. Por ejemplo, nosotros cuando entramos a clase debemos decir good evening. Okay. Y cuando terminamos la clase, yo le digo, ha, bye, good night. Porque ya nos despedimos. Por ejemplo, si usted va a un restaurante con su novio, su familia, qué sé yo, llega al restaurante a las 7 de la noche, 7 y media, va a decir good evening. Cuando se retiran del restaurante y si alguien se queda ahí, good night. Ah, y, y, sea, y, y si ya llego, no sé, estoy poniendo a las 9 al restaurante. Good evening. Siempre. Sí. Vamos a leer. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Ok. No, solo puse in the evening. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ya nos vamos en un minuto. Voy a cerrar. Ok. Hey, teacher. Y we report. Eh. Ah, lo, lo, los reportes que escribí sería. We report eh, the final day. No. Al finalizar he, el turno. He write. At the end of the shift. ¿Cómo? Uh, At the end of the shift. Recuerden ese turno, dijimos que era shift. Shift. Ah, sí. Sí. Lo, lo puede escribir en el chat, dice por favor. Ah, ustedes dos no ponen atención, ya los caché. ¿Por qué se acabamos de entrar, dice? No, porque este es vocabulario que hemos visto desde el inicio del módulo 1. At the end of the shift, al final del turno, al final del horario, al final de mi jornada. Shift es jornada. Ya no pusiste, ya no descubriste, pero. Lo siento. <ríe> Soy muy evidente. Vámonos. Ok, teacher. Pero yo creo, yo creo que ahí estamos. Uh -huh. Okay, are we all ready? Teacher, la asistencia. Sí, ahorita, ahorita, por eso me los traje de regreso. <ríe> Gracias. Ahora vamos a esperar que se unan todos los demás.
Ok. Ya estamos todos. Por favor, enciendan su cámara. Voy a pasar asistencia. Recuerden que si tienen cámara apagada, no cuentan. Eh, Analicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Linda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Presente. Soto. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, teacher. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Jair Adonis Martir Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristera Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Presente. Miriam, eh, no, perdón. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Present. Santos Alberto Chicas Juárez. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Presente. Thank you. Now, we're going to continue here with our practice, right? So some of you already wrote your paragraphs. I would like to start with, quiero ver, ¿con qué empezamos? Con Brenda, gracias Brenda por levantar la mano. Ok, empezamos con Hola. Brenda. Yo levanté la mano. Sí, no la vi. Se voluntarió. Muy bien, Brenda. Muy bien, Brenda. Gerardo contestó. Perdón, es que estaba afuera. Vaya, este. Can you my, read my paragraph? My paragraph. Yeah. Okay. Hello, my name is Gerardo Cordero. I work in my house in Ria International. Uh, I am a customer service agent. Agent, sorry. Every day I start to work at 10 p.m. I answer emails every day. I usually I receive calls. Uh, I never see my co coworkers. Mm -hmm. I seldom have meetings on Monday or Friday. Mm -hmm. This is my paragraph. paragraph. That's your paragraph. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Right, so we have one paragraph from this group. Who is next, Brenda? ¿Quién va luego? Eh, Daniela. Daniela's group. Daniela, ok. Veamos el párrafo de ustedes. Lo leo yo, Sandra. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> me, nunca me imaginé que me ibas a decir que sí. <laughs> Hello, I have a, a, a question, teacher. These patches, it's okay for despachos? You have to dispatch. See, uh -huh. dispatch uh, okay. is cuando hablamos, eh, ¿cómo sería? Cuando sacamos cosas. Right? Por ejemplo, cuando enviamos algún mensaje, un paquete hacia algún lugar. Okay. Dispatch. Okay. Uh, her name is Sandra Cepeda. She works in the port. She is a logistics transportation. Wait, wait a minute. Esta <laughs> niña. Uh, she is a logistics transportation. Every day she check her email for the company. She always send doc documents for the customs. 
She usually calls the drivers to charge containers. She always in the afternoon send a report of the dispatch and sometimes check the containers. Any that? Yes. Okay, very good. When you, you use the verse in third person, Daniela, you need to make sure that all of them, when you're talking about she, and it's simple present, the, you need to use the rule of S in affirmative verbs. Okay? Yes. She works. Right? Lo usó yes. en, en un par, pero no, la mayoría se le olvidó. Luego, we, <laughs> when we say she is logistic transportation, what? Logistic transportation agent, logistic transportation supervisor, manager. What are you? Eh, Sandra? Hey. Son tram es tramitadora, uh -huh. pero no sé cómo se dice. Es asistente, supervisora. Mm, okay. Asistente. Ok. Logistic Transportation Assistant. Assistant. Porque si solo decimos, Sandra es transportación de logística. Pero eso nos dice el cargo. Right? Very good. Thank you so much, Thank Daniela you. and Sandra. Excellent example. Right? Let's, who's next, Daniela? Vane. Vanessa. <coughs> Para que se le quite el sueño. <laughs> Vane. Hola. Eh, Jonathan Hola. says the paragraph. Jonathan Valer, okay, Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Vanessa Vasquez. Her name is Vanessa Vasquez. She works in Office Proesa. She's an administrative manager. Every day she checks her email and she always answers the phone. Generally, she attended meeting. She never participates in the event about her job. She always stay at it at her office. She rarely goes outside, but she always is busy. She always keeps busy, very good. Thank you so much. Right, we have this example. Very good use of the adverse of frequency. Excellent. Muy buen uso de los adverbios de frecuencia, muy bien. Yeah. Now, we continue. who's next? Uh, Marina? Vanessa. Voy, 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 voy. Este, Juana Cristela. Cristela. Hola. Hola. Uh, eh, I read it. Yes. Okay. okay. I'm going to read it. Hello, her name is Juana Cristela Euseda. She works in an office. She is an accountant in her office. Every day she checks emails and prepares the account receivable. She usually has meetings with co-workers on Monday. Occasionally mm -hmm. go to the store and buy some coffee. And she <laughs> goes to the to production area. Okay, very good. When you say oh, there is only one verb that you forgot the rule of S. Occasionally, she goes. She goes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Anna. And I think Anna was the last one. No? Nos falta alguien? Aide? ¿Qué hay de su grupo? Juana, Juana, ¿cómo se llama? Karen, Karen, Karen va a leer. Ok. Eh, no sé, para participar, no sé si leo la mitad yo y la otra mitad Katia. Digo, eh, somos tres. Ser? Ok, vale. Y la Katia eh... si no. Ok, hello, her name is 
My name. Karen Aide, Parada Trejo. Mm -hmm. uh, she loves her work. Uh, she is a field supervisor. She okay. always has to go the country fight. Uh, she sometimes has to do report. <clears throat> Next, Katia. <laughs> she, have you ever say in the office? She likes to drive a car. She never to drive um office car. She usually sends email with her cell phone. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Excellent. She never drives. She never drives. Because you put in there, she never to drive. And it's she never drives. Okay, very well. Solo no faltaba ese párrafo, no falta alguien de participar. Nosotros, teacher, con Leonel. Okay, vamos, Verónica. Okay. Eh, he, he is a Leonel Velasquez. He works in a production. He's always organized the production line and review production order. He usually check email to boss. He often at, attends meeting in the evening. He writes a report at the end on the shift. At the end of the shift. 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 Porque ahí dijo una mala palabra y vamos a editar el video. Uy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very well. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, look at the examples right now. Give an applause to everyone. You did a great job with your examples. Muy bien. Right. No, no hubieron errores eh, significativos, solo errores que estaban corrigiendo poco. Right? Excellent work, everyone. Now I want you to look at this. Can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. When we sign here, we're gonna start with this conversation. This is on your book. I remember it is on page uh, 25, right? You, you can take a look at it there. And on page 25, we have a conversation between Mark and Bri. It says, listen to, to, to the conversation so we can see the expressions, right? It says, I really need that memo, Bri. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important, right away. Okay. I really need that memo free. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. It is very important. So we're going to use phrases like, it's very important, or I really need to express urgency. Cuando estamos hablando de que algo es urgente, vamos a utilizar frases tales como right? it's very important and I really need. It's very important to drink water. It's very important to drink water. I really need this water for the class, right? So that is urgency, right? Pero con esto vamos a ver un tema, right? That is called need, right? Things that we need to do, right? And I want you to pay attention to this. It says that we use need or don't need plus two plus infinitive to say that something, something is necessary or unnecessary. You can use these forms for habitual, general, and a specific necessity. For example, you usually need to 
check in at least two hours before a flight lifts. So let me show you this. Vamos a hacer una pantalla acá. Díganme si miran la pantalla en blanco. Sí. Yes. Sí, yes. sí te Okay, very well. So in this case, right, when we have here need to. That's what we're working with, right? Need to. With this need to, we're going to use it like this. The formula or the structure, the structure or the formula is the siguiente. Right? We have the subject plus need to plus verb plus complement. Right? So in this case, what we're using this, the function of this to express necessity, para expresar necesidad, right? That's what we need, we are going to use this for, right? ¿Entendemos esa parte hasta el momento? Right? We use it for this, right? And we have this function and this structure. So, for example, last week, last week, my phone broke. Right? So I need to buy a new cell phone. Right? I need to buy a new cell phone. Is this a necessity? ¿Creen ustedes que esta es una necesidad? Right? Last week, my cell phone broke. So I do not have a cell phone. I need to buy a new cell phone. So here we have need to, right? We have need to plus the verb, right? What is the verb here? Our verb is by, right? And we have the subject here in the complement, right? We have the subject and then we have the complement. But we are expressing a necessity. Lo esencial acá, aparte de la estructura, es que expresemos una necesidad. Con need to. Right? Ahora, siempre tomando la misma estructura, podemos utilizar otros sujetos. Karen, give me one subject pronoun. No me voy a dar I, porque ya lo tenemos ahí. <risa> Sería... <risa> We need a, the books. We need, we need the books. No, no estamos utilizando need to ahí. Si te decimos, we need the books. ¿Dónde ah, está okay. need to y dónde okay. está el otro verbo? We need a use. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le falta? Mira el tema. We need to use. We need to uh -huh, use. What? Oh, sí, eh, books. <laughs> We need to books. use the books. The books. ¿A dónde? Where? In the class. Okay, very good. We need to use the books in the class. Very good. So what is this? This is a necessity, right? We are using need to. Es esencial que utilizamos need to, right? Oh, okay. Más okay. el verbo. Si no utilizamos need to más el verbo, no estamos expresando este tipo de necesidad, okay? Now, what else do you need, for example? Uh, I need to drink coffee every night. I need to drink coffee. If I do not drink coffee, I will oh, fall asleep. 
So I need to drink coffee, right? What else do you need? ¿Qué más necesitan? Veamos. He needs to take the medicine. Okay, very good. He needs to take the medicine. Very well. He needs to take his medicine. Right? So we have needs to. Now, can I make these sentences in negative? Yes, we can, right? For example, I don't need to eat vegetables to feel healthy. No necesito comer vegetales para sentirme salva. I don't need to eat vegetables to feel healthy, right? So I can use also the negative form, right? Don't need to plus the verb, right? And if it's third, third person singular, we can say cutting doesn't need to study for the test. She's very smart. She doesn't need to do this, she's smart. She will pass the test, right? So we have there examples of these option, right? Of this grammar topic, need to, right? Entendemos esta estructura? Eh, una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. El need to, entonces para tercera persona siempre le tiene que agregar la S. Is it positive? Yes. Mm. ¿Están mm -hmm. afirmativos? Sí. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome, Karen. But, teacher, mm -hmm. but when you use the three person, is no shape the bear. Really? Because you, you put S in the new. No cambia el verbo, ¿verdad? El, solo cambia el... el de need. Exacto. Solamente cambia need. Porque need es nuestro verbo principal. ¿Ok? okay. Si, en este caso, need to es el verbo. ¿Right? Ese es nuestro verbo. Ya cuando tenemos esto acá, mira, se lo voy a marcar. Si tenemos to use, to take, to eat, and también acá, to study, right? Estos no son los verbos principales. Esas son las acciones que nosotros necesitamos realizar. So, nuestro verbo principal es need. That is our main verb. Right, thank you, Karen, and thank you, Brenda. Okay, uh, any other question? Eh, teacher, no sé si entendí, le voy a decir un ejemplo para ver si, si, si está bien. Eh, they need to get food because they have hungry. Because they are hungry, yes. Ah, uh, they are hungry. They are Pero hungry. Sí. Yes, they need ah, okay. to buy food because they are hungry. It's a necessity. Very well. Now, let's go ahead and see more examples. Veamos más ejemplos acá en la pantalla. Right, if we see these examples here, we said, for example, right, you usually need to check in at least two hours before a flight leaves. Right? Next one, I don't need to take a raincoat. It's going to be hot today, right? I do not need to take a raincoat. It's going to be hot today today right now we have another option that is that like a very informal way of saying need in negative right we can use needn't pero no lo recomiendo right porque a veces nos puede confundir entonces utilizamos el auxiliar right and then right 
we cannot say, for example, I don't need to wear glasses. I needn't wear glasses. That is incorrect. I needn't to wear glasses, right? I needn't wear glasses. For habitual or general necessities, we don't use don't need to, right? Solamente para cosas que son específicas. Veamos otros ejemplos, right? We have here, this email is in the book, okay? This email is in the book. It's an email from Daniel Ruiz. It's on page 25, right? And we're going to see necessities there, right? So we're going to pair work and read the information. We have from Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. ¿Lo pueden ver en el libro? Después de la conversación chiquita que hicimos? Yes. Yes, excellent. It says here, right? From Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com, subject, very important, task for this month, okay? Or activities for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential client customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients for the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It is, it is very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th. And then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Right? Now, we have different activities that Guadalupe must do. Right? Ya vieron a ella también su jefe le dio que hacer. So what are we going to do here? You're going to organize what is for you. First, second, third, and fourth. Okay? Acá van a leer el correo y van a organizar qué va primero para ustedes. Recuerden que todos tenemos diferentes prioridades en la vida, right? We have different priorities. So you may have different answers. Puede que tengan respuestas distintas. Pero vamos a tratar de organizar esto y ver si en este caso ¿Cuáles son las actividades que debemos hacer? Que necesitamos hacer. Right? Let's start. Dice que lo vamos a hacer en pareja, pero lo vamos a hacer individual. Rapidito. Ok, vamos a tener no más de cinco minutos para tratar de identificar cuáles son para nosotros las actividades número uno. Cuando tengan las cuatro, pónganlas en el chat rapidito. Para ir comparando. ¿Cuál era la página? Page 25. Page 25. Do you finish? ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo van? No, está bien, no.
Do you finish? I don't know if I organized my my duties, but I did it. You did it. Okay, very good. What are your duties? Put it in the chat, please. Pónganos en el chat para ir comparando sus la forma en la que ustedes ordenan sus prioridades. Okay, Anna just finished. For one more and she will be done. Two stores in Santa Fe. So Anna just put there her priorities. And right, what about the others? I agree with that. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess that she agrees with Anna. What about the others? He needs, he needs to send the two letter sales reports. That is what a lupe is a sheet. This is stores called the clients send the sales report. Okay, contact with the potential customer. Sorry, she. 
Okay, perfect. Now I am going to explain to you. Vamos, voy a explicar aquí rapidito también. Right. Other examples, right, that we have with need to. Seguimos siempre con need to, okay? Vienen necesidades. Right? Vienen que cosas son importantes y que no son importantes. Right? Now, let me show you here my computer. Pueden ver la PowerPoint? ¿Pueden ver la PowerPoint? No, teacher. No. Siempre están viendo el libro, ¿verdad? Permítanme. Ahorita. Ok. We continue here with this. More explanation about the use of need to. Remember, these are necessities. Just like you did in the in with the priorities, right? Son necesidades. Very good. Mm. Now we have here, for example, this is the grammar explanation, right? But for example, if you say I am hungry, si tengo hambre, I am hungry, right? I need to eat something. I need a hamburger. I need a sandwich, right? So we can use need plus an infinitive in a verb, or we can use need plus a noun, okay? Podemos utilizar need to más un verbo, o need más un sustantivo, o un noun, como le decimos. Look at this. I am thirsty. Estoy sedienta. I need to drink something. I need a glass of water. I need a cup of tea, right? So in this case, we're expressing necessity, right? If tenemos necesidad. Veamos el siguiente que es have to. Have to. Look at this. With have to or don't have to. Tenemos have to, don't have to. What are we going to use? With have to and don't have to, this is more about rules. Esto se trata acerca de reglas. Things that we have to do. For example, yesterday, I went to the doctor. Okay? So, because, you know, I feel like a backache, right, on my back. So, he gave me this. So, I have to take my pills. I have to take my pills. Every day I have English classes. And you know, I receive money. This is my job, right? I work as a teacher. So every day I have English classes at 8 p.m. So I have to connect to Zoom 10 minutes before 8. You have that to attend. You have to attend the class. I have to attend the class. Yes, that is correct. I have to attend the class. I have to keep my camera open all the time. That's a rule, right? I have to call attendance three times each class. So these are rules. When utilizamos have to, right, or don't have to, Estamos hablando de reglas, de cosas que debemos hacer. No por necesidad, sino que porque alguien nos lo ha impuesto o porque una situación así lo amerita. Por ejemplo, right now we have COVID-19, right? So every time you go outside, you have to wear a mask, right? So those are things that we must do. Let me show you the examples. It says here, right? Creo que ya lo pueden ver, ¿verdad? It says, no, teacher. No, sí. Sí? Ahorita sí. Sí, okay. When we have, have to, right, it's something you need to do 
following a rule, right? And when we have don't have to, it's because something that is not necessary, right? Not necessarily that cumplir con la regla, right? Let's take a look at the example. Daniela, can you read the first sentence? You have to clean your room every day if you want to use the computer. The computer, very good. This is like maybe a mom is telling you know, their kid, right? Now, second example, Gerardo, read the example, please. My sister. <laughs> My sister has to eat some chocolate before going to bed. Okay, very good. Continue the Karen. Where do we have to buy the ticket for the concert? Very good. So look at this. We can also make questions for have to, right? And also we have don't have to. Right? Este don't, así se llama la regla. Have to, don't have to. Pero si tenemos tercera persona, va a cambiar. Has to, doesn't have to. Right? Uh, let's read here, Ana, the first example. I don't have to. I don't have to go to school today. It's Friday. It's Friday. Very good. Second example, please, Eusera. You don't have to. Puede leer el ejemplo, Juana, por favor. Creo que no está. Veamos, Jonathan. Lee el ejemplo. Uh, the second. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to wear a long dress to go to the party. To go to the party. Very good. You don't have to wear a long dress to go to the party. And the last one, read the example, Katia. Yeah. Yes. Um, where do we have to buy the tickets no, for the concert? El último. Doesn't have to. She doesn't have to buy me a present. It is not necessar necessary. It is not necessary. Very good. So we have this example here, right? And then the use of this, for example, right? Remember, this is to talk about rules, right? Or in things that other people make us do. Este es el uso. Okay, voy a utilizar have to cuando estamos describiendo reglas o cosas o situaciones que alguien más nos hace realizar. Okay, para eso lo estamos utilizando. Right. Let's take a look at the negative, right? Like I said, you can use also other auxiliaries. Do not, does not, did not, es para pasado, al igual que didn't. No lo vamos a utilizar en este módulo, sino que vamos a utilizar las formas eh, del simple present. Okay? We don't have to pay for the food. The students don't have to do homework on Friday. Third grade doesn't have to take classes on December 19th. We don't have to do exercises of math class. That will be my example. Let's take a look at the exercise. Veamos el ejemplo, el ejercicio. It says here, one negative. I don't have to live now. That's a rule. I don't have to live now. I'm gonna put here, for example, I, don't have to teach English on September 15th, right? I don't have to teach English on September 15th. That's my, that's my sentence, negative, right? Now the question, do I have to teach English on September 
No, you don't have to. Exactly. No, you don't have to teach English on September 15. Very good, Ana. So, what could be other examples? ¿Qué otros ejemplos pueden escribir? A ver, escribamos uno en negativo y la pregunta de es negativo. Yo voy a pensar en mis situaciones de vida en estos momentos. Uh, I'm going to put here. I don't have to send the lesson plans um, on Sundays. Okay. And my negative situation. Usualmente es una necesidad, pero los domingos no lo es. Right. What could be another example? Do I have to send the lesson plans on Sunday? Right. Okay. Entendemos esta, esta regla del have to? ¿Cómo se utiliza? ¿O tienen preguntas? ¿No tienen preguntas? For example, I don't have to answer the chat work on weekend. Exactly. Do you have do you have to answer the chat work on weekend? Very good. Excellent. That could be great question and great answer. Very good. Escriban una negativa. Si pueden, leerla y escriban en el chat rapidito, por favor. Brenda, did you finish? No, teacher. Solo voy a escribir una, ¿ok? If someone has a doubt, please ask. Si alguien tiene una duda, por favor, pregunte. Por cierto, hoy, se, hoy le corresponde quedarse ahí desde la Pan Santos Vázquez. Después de las 10 le corresponde quedarse a usted. ¿A veces se va a quedar o le va a ceder el turno a alguien más? ¿Le cedemos el turno o que descanse la teacher mejor? <risa> Gracias. <risa> Pero puede ceder el turno. Si alguien tiene una pregunta, de 10 a 10 y 10, como no se va a quedar ella, se puede quedar alguien más. Gracias, Aide. Ok, solamente tengo el ejemplo de Ana y los demás. Vamos. ¿O todavía no hemos comprendido acá el ejemplo? Eh, I have an example. Uh -huh. I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. There you go. I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. Perfect. ¿Por um, qué? Porque eso es usualmente una regla que ella cumple. Muy bien. Thank you. Do you have to prepare the breakfast every day? Okay, for me, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> I have to prepare the breakfast every day. Very good idea. Right. Let's see another example. I see two chats here. 
I don't have to drive to Santana City tomorrow. Okay. Do I have to drive to Santana City tomorrow? Very good. Now, remember that I, siempre con mayúscula, Jonathan. Who else? Who else? ¿Qué más en ejemplos? Vamos. Daniela, Edwin, Teresa, Katia, Karen, Alex, oh, bueno, Alexis ya estudió en ese ejemplo. Marina, Juana. Yo envié uno al chat, teacher. No lo veo, no lo veo, no lo veo. Déjame ver. I don't have to check email tomorrow. Do you have to check my email tomorrow? Okay. Do we have to cook the dinner? Okay. I do not have, you do not have one. In este caso, eh, Edwin, eso es de procesión. No es de obligación. Recuerda que estamos hablando de cosas que debemos hacer. No que, no de eh, posesión. Este, en este caso es, yo no tengo. Es que como son posesivas. Bueno. Ok. <laughs> I don't have to get up early. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I don't have to send the reports. Do you have to get up early? I don't have to wash my car. Very good. Don't have to. No veo sus ejemplos, Euseda. No veo sus ejemplos, Verónica. I don't have to run. Run is eh, Vanessa. Run yes. is run, así como Ron Bacardi. ¿Cómo? <laughs> es run, ah, con N. Ok, ok. Te quito run como bebida alcohólica. <laughs> Do I have to run? Sometimes you have to run. Okay, so we have the examples there, right? Four, half, two, right? Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have to pay the bill? Yes, I have to pay the bills. Si no me quitan la luz, me quitan todo. Right? I have to pay the bills on time. I already paid. <laughs> <laughs> you already, no, I have not. I have to, I have to. Okay, so we have there, right? The examples of have to. Tiene alguna pregunta? Preguntas? No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Okay. Vamos a seguir practicando el jueves que no veamos. El jueves seguimos practicando con need to and have to. Ok. Ahora okay. voy a pasar la asistencia rapidito. Por favor, pongan atención. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. I am here. Brenda Yamileta Estrada Torres. Presente, teacher. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Soto. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente, de hecho. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelaria. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, de hecho. Ayer de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Jair Adonis Martín Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Juana Cristela Eusera García. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Presente. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Santos Alberto Chicas Juárez. 
Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Duenas. Okay, so we have finished with today's class. Right, como vemos, ella eh, dijo, hay de que no se va a quedar. Si alguien se quiere quedar, se puede quedar a partir de las 10 de la noche. Los demás, nos vemos el jueves y disfruten su día libre mañana. Nos vemos. Bye, chicos. thank you. Bye, bye. bye Disfruta, yeah. descansen. Nos vemos el jueves a las 8 en punto. Bye, bye. Bye bye, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Adiós. Adiós. <laughs> bye bye.